Another artist that I think it sucks that they're dead is Nate Dogg, because I feel like he was a pretty talented singer. Um, he was like one of the best, if not the best, when it came to rap hooks. Uh, I mean, he had some of the most iconic hooks ever. He could sing with his own voice. He didn't need like special effects and stuff. And he was just so good. I think it's a shame he died because he was uh, he was a really good singer. And one of the things that I think we, I feel like we didn't get enough Eminem and Nate Dogg team ups. I mean, we got to like collapse. We got never enough um, and uh, shake that. But that's about it. We only got like three team ups between them, and that was it. Nate Dogg wasn't on the re up, and he wasn't on relapse. Um, he wasn't on recovery either. I mean, I, I think Nate Dogg either died in 2010 or 2011, but we should have had more Nate Dogg and Eminem team ups. And it's a shame he died because he was very talented. There's, there's probably a lot of people he could have worked with if he was still alive, like maybe a possible collab with him and Hobson. Maybe he could have did some more stuff with Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, some more team ups with Eminem. Like Fast Lane, for example, that if, if Nate Dogg was still alive, he would have been perfect for Fast Lane because that guy in the chorus sounds just like Nate Dogg. So he's definitely a missed artist. I feel like he's not, I feel like Nate Dogg isn't talked about as much or reminisced on as much as like Tupac and Biggie are. So that's definitely true about the Nate Dogg situation. I feel like he was an all-time great at doing rap hooks and that type of stuff. There's definitely a ton of folks that probably could have worked with him. I would have liked more exhibit songs with Nate Dogg. I would have liked way more 50 Cent songs. I mean, really, 50 Cent only did like 21 questions, and that was such a great song. And this is too bad that they never did another song. And, you know, Snoop Dogg always did good songs with him. There were plenty of folks that really did. I think that's a good idea that hops in. That would have definitely been interesting to see him do a song, song or two with Nate Dogg, something like that. Bunch of other folks. I'm sure Tech Nine could have done one. Like, you know, it'd be interesting to get some other folks. Yellow Wolf would have been a good one. I think that would have been kind of crazy, some Southern type hip hop in that sort of sense. Plenty of those cats, really. I just, it's, you know, definitely more Eminem and Nate Dogg hooks. I mean, he, he also did do Bitch Please too. I, I guess you forgot about that one. But yeah, it's just, I do definitely feel like we need way more Eminem, Nate Dogg collaborations and maybe they exist out there maybe that's something that eminem's really holding on to like lock and key or something i definitely know that dr dre has a good handful i mean they work together probably dozens if not hundreds of times something like that but yeah it's just it's a definite r.i.p kind of moment just because nate dog i mean he died relatively young i mean he was probably he was just in his early 40s so it's just kind of it's pretty unfortunate that he could not like i just don't know why that had to happen as relatively young as it did just to kind of say that the man had a whole career on deck that could have happened just cast aside because of that it's just like i mean he would have had i mean there's plenty of people i could i think that could benefit from nate dog collaborations